Hello everyone! In this tutorial you're going to learn how to make autumn colored leaf earrings. The supplies you're going to need are UV resin, green and orange resin dye, red and yellow resin dye, and brown resin dye. You'll also need five mixing bowls and some mixing utensils. You'll need a mold to make your leaves. And you'll need jump rings. And you'll need 32 4 millimeter jump rings, two 6 millimeter jump rings, 12 8 millimeter jump rings, and four 10 millimeter jump rings. You'll also need two fish hook earrings. So let's get started. To begin, I'm putting some UV resin into a couple of the mixing bowls. And I'm using the brown resin dye in one of the bowls, just a couple drops. And I'm mixing it up. and pouring it into the leaf mold. I'm just making sure that all the resin goes to the edges. Now I'm going to be cleaning my mixing utensil with a baby wipe. And next I'm going to do red. I'm just putting a couple drops into the UV resin. And I'm going to mix it up. And pour it into the medium sized leaf mold. Make sure the resin goes to the edges. You may have to add a little bit more resin to fill up the mold. And then now I'm just going to do another one. Put some UV resin in there. Now you can mix these up ahead of time and just have them ready and then just keep pouring them into the molds and then curing them. I'm doing the yellow now, mixing it up. And then I'm going to pour it into the mold. I'm only using the two small leaf molds and also the medium sized leaf mold. I will not be using the large leaf mold for this project. I'm just making sure that it's going to all the edges. I'm using a baby wipe to do some quick cleanup. And I'm using my lighter and I'm gently just waving the flame over the resin to pop the bubbles. And then I'm curing for 180 seconds. Once they're cured, you can remove them from the mold. Now we're going to pour some more of the colored resin into the mold. 
When making these leaves, remember we're making a pair of earrings. So if you do a leaf in a certain size, either the small or the medium, you have to do the exact duplicate of that color in the small or medium. And you have to have two of each. Now, some of the colors you may do four, but then that's good because then you have two for one earring and two for the other. Now that I poured all the colors into the mold, I'm going to cure it for 180 seconds. Now that it's cured, I'm going to remove them from the mold. Now I'm going to be taking the green dye and adding it to the clear UV resin. And then mix it up. And then I'm going to pour it in the two small leaf molds. to use the orange in the medium size leaf and that will match the other one that I did. And then I'm just spreading it to the edges. I'm making sure that it goes to the edges and that it's filled all the way to the top. I'm using my lighter to remove the bubbles and then when I'm done I'm going to cure this for 180 seconds. Now that they're cured, I'm going to remove them from the mold. I'm pouring more colors into the mold. As you can see, I am mixing some orange. I used up some of the yellow in the wand leaf. And now I'm mixing the orange and I'm going to do a small leaf in the orange. Remember, every one of these leaves that you make has a duplicate. So if you didn't already make the duplicate, you need to make the duplicate now. And remember, the curing time is 180 seconds. So here I have the leaves laid out the way I want them for the earrings and as you can see there are duplicate colors. I'm going to use a very fine drill bit in my drill and I'm going to be drilling holes close to the stem of the leaves and I'm doing this for each one.
Now that they're done being drilled, we can go on to the next step. Now I'm just cleaning off all the dust and the debris from my work area and from the leaves and I'm using a baby wipe to do this. I'm taking out the 8mm jump rings to use on the smaller leaves. You will need 12 of the 8mm jump rings. Now I'll be taking out the 10mm jump rings and you will need 4 of those jump rings. Now I'm placing the 8mm jump rings on the small leaves and the 10mm jump rings on the large leaves. I'm now going to use the 4mm jump rings and I need 32 of them so I'll need 16 for each earring and I'll be making two chains of 16 4mm jump rings. This does take time, so be patient while you're putting your chains together. I will keep adding on the jump rings to make the chain and remember it's 16 jump rings for each earring and then we will assemble the earring. Let's get started putting these earrings together. Now we're going to take the large bottom leaf, open up the jump ring and place it on the first link or the first jump ring of the chain and then we're going to close it up 
and I'm just sliding the opening part of the jump ring into the leaf. And as you can see, we're going to skip one and then move upward. So you're going to place the big leaf on the bottom, skip one, and then we're going to place the yellow leaf, which is a smaller leaf, on the third link. And we're doing it on, as you're looking at it, the left side of that link. And we're closing it up. And then we're going to skip a link. And now we're going to place the orange leaf on the next so skip a link and then go to the next one and place it on the right side of that link. And then close up your jump ring. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a leaf on every other link of that chain. And you're going to alternate it. You're going to do the left side, the right side, the left side, the right side. Watch carefully so you can see how I'm alternating. Um, also, it kind of gets a little bit messed up and you might have to just keep, you know, rearranging it to see what side you just did, especially if you put it down. Um, but remember, just skip one link and then go to the next and add it. See, at this point, I was having a little difficulty with it. And they all should face forward also, so basically you have to just keep straightening out your chain to see where the next leaf goes. Once you start getting to the top, it gets to be a little bit more difficult to put them on. Just take your time.
the last two placing them on is a little bit more difficult because the chain is very short at this point and you're trying to hold the chain and get the leaves on at the same time so again just take your time be patient you'll get it on there Once you put that last leaf on, you should have one remaining link at the top. On that last remaining link we're going to use the six millimeter jump ring and place it on the very top link and then we're going to add on your fish hook earring and close up the jump ring and there is your autumn colored leaf earring Now if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and press that bell for further notifications of upcoming videos. Also, in the description box below, you will find links to my artwork, photography, and my jewelry. Thank you again. See you soon. Bye-bye.